Greetings family, today we will be talking about jewelry, and why Christians should not wear them. Let's begin. Many would say that God is not looking at our outward appearance, He's looking at our hearts, but that's not true, God is looking at both outward and inwards. Many Christians are just spoil, and love to have things their own way. They want to serve God how they want. They will tell you how nothing is wrong with wearing earrings and bracelets, and make mention of how the streets of heaven, will be paved with gold, they will say all kind of things to justify doing their own will, and the carnal mind will agree with them, because they are not looking at the Word of God, they are looking on how they feel about it, but God don't care about what we think, or how we feel about something, He cares about His Word, and what is right. The Scripture says. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. It is vain to put on jewelry, it is vain to add these things to ourselves, trying to look beautiful because we don't think that God did a great job when He created us. The putting on of jewelry can become a god to us, in the sense of reaching a point where we can't see ourselves going out without putting them on. We don't want to be like the world, we don't want to look like the things God is not pleased with. Women wearing ankle chains will have the look of a prostitute, and that's not how a God-fearing Christian woman should look. A chain around your ankle, and the Spirit of God, don't have anything in common. The holy women of Israel and the women of Egypt, did not look the same, so why any Christian women who are striving to please God would want to look like an Egyptian woman, which is a worldly woman? The world should be looking to the church, not the church looking to the world. The Scripture says in Genesis chapter 35 verse 2-4. to Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments, and let us arise, and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. We see in the scripture where God refers to jewelry as strange gods. The earrings, the bracelets, the ankle chains and the rings are all called strange gods. They must not be worn, and must be put off from among us. You see, when we come to Christ, even our garments has to change, which means we can't be looking the same way we did when we were out in the world, there must be a difference one should be able to tell the difference between a Christian and a sinner. The Scripture clearly tell us what not to wear, so obviously God is looking at our outward appearance. The Scripture says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. Another Scripture say, whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair, and of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. The Lord don't want us to adorn ourselves in these things because it is vain and corruptible, God wants us to focus on getting ourselves right with Him, in obedience and total submission, which cannot be corrupted. No man is to wear earrings, and parents need to stop piercing their children ears, this is wrong. It is bad enough that you do it. You need to give the child a chance to make his or her own decision, give them a chance to grow up and come to the knowledge of God, and then they can decide if they want to obey Him, or be disobedient and get their ears pierced, so God can hold them accountable for their own sins. It doesn't matter what type of jewelry you wear, it could even be a chain with a cross on it, sin is sin, and God does not allow it. The Lord says He's going to take away all these things, that's how much He's against it. So, if He's going to take it away, why wear it, that alone should let us know His dissatisfaction for it. The Scripture says, In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and their calls, and their round tires like the moon, the chains, and the bracelets, and the mufflers, the bonnets, and the ornaments of the legs, and the headbands, and the tablets, and the earrings, the rings, and nose jewels. The Lord says He's going to take away all these things, so if anyone wants to disobey God, and still wear them, that means they have made it up in their minds to go to hell. It doesn't matter if it's a wedding ring, it is a sin to wear them, the scripture is clear on this, 
he's going to take them away. Some will say, how will people know that I am married? The scripture teaches us how to act like we are married as godly people, not wearing anything for show, in trying to prove to anyone that we are married. We see where many Christians are piercing their nose and even their navel, and the sad truth is that many pastors are not preaching against it, many of them know what the scripture says, but are willingly ignoring it, because some of them wear earrings themselves. A woman, who claims to be a Christian, should not be wearing a ring on her toe, or earrings and nose rings, that is not the look of a Christian. All those things violate the scriptures. Some will say that in the scriptures they put a ring on Joseph's finger, but the ring that they put on Joseph was a symbol that he came in power, after becoming a mighty governor down in Egypt, but the power we have now, is not on our finger, the power we have is in our hearts, which is the Holy Ghost. The Scripture says, And, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. Another Scripture says, But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So the power we have now is not on our finger, but the power we have is in our heart which is the Spirit of God. We have to read the Scripture, and strive to obey every word. Let us not harden our hearts to the Word of God, but give over and give in to Scripture. No Christian should wear jewelry, it is not the will of God, and it will separate us from Him, and lead us to hell. It is not easy to let go of something that we have become so accustomed in doing, so it might be hard for many to put off these things, but pray to God for strength, He will guide us and help us to let go off the things we love that violate His Word. Let's forget about how we feel, and trust God's Word. We can't afford for something as jewelry to separate us from God. If we truly want to be safe, we will obey. Thanks for watching.